guys, this is Pierre. I'm a drum tutor here at Lesson Face. Thanks for joining us this week for a quick tutorial. This week I'm going to be using uh, some reading exercise, so books like Syncopation, New Breed, stuff like that. I'm going to show you how to use one bar to create a large amount of drum fills. So a lot of times my students ask me, how do I create drum fills? How do I build drum fills? How do I think about drum fills? And the reality is the best exercise is to sit down, play one rhythmic cell, which is going to be four beats, and start being creative. Move around the drum set, apply some rudiments, uh, apply some rules, and get you out of your comfort zone. A lot of times we end up doing the following fills. We have a, a, a great tendency of always resorting to the same drum fills where we feel really comfortable. So this ex exercise is going to give you almost an unlimited amount of drum fills to go to. So step one, you're going to go to a reading book. could be Syncopation, New Breed. There's many out there, so feel free to, to, to choose one. Uh, you're going to go to the subdivisions you like. I'm going to be choosing to use 8 notes and 16 notes for now for this uh, tutorial. But you can choose 16 notes, 16 note triplets. could be anything. And so you're going to choose that one bar and focus on it. Of course, when you're working on an entire exercise, let's say it's 20 bars, 16 bars, 30 bars, you're going to have various variations of the same bar uh, just played differently on the drum set. So step one, learn the rhythm. So we're going to be reading this bar here. Start just playing it on the snare, and then we'll, we'll expand from there. That's our fill. Uh, I suggest if you're starting, hit the, the crash on one when you're going back to your groove so you can loop it like this. Try and do it four times, something like that, just so you keep four, eight, 12, or 16 bar blocks. So like this. Here we go. So that was step one. Step two, we're going to be applying some rules to this drum fill. So we're not just going to keep on the snare. Next thing we do, let's put all the eight notes on the snare, and then the fills can be anywhere on the drum set. So let's start with that. Let's go simple. Let's go simple. We'll make it harder as we go. Next step, we're going to be doing exactly the opposite. So all the eight notes need to be uh, on the toms and the 16 notes or toms or cymbals or cowbell, whatever it is you have on your drum set. 16 notes are going to be on the snare. So here we go. So now we've worked on our two first variables. So you see, there's an unlimited amount of drum fills you can do just with this one rhythm. Next thing is we're going to be applying a paradiddle to the 16th notes. Um, this is, so paradiddle is, is one of our rudiments, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, depending on which hand you're starting with. So we're going to try and apply that. Let's go back to the snare. Let's figure this out. All right, in the drum fill. So now we've su successfully applied the paradiddle rudiment. Uh, to the snare drum in our fill. Now, now let's start moving around the drum set. Let's see what we can do with this. Mm -hmm. 
So that was it. That was the tutorial for today. Be sure not to set any limits. Make sure to have fun. This is going to help you with your soloing, with your drumming, uh, in general, playing playing pop songs, playing jazz, playing anything you want. You need to move around the drum set. You need to find the, the timbres, the sounds that you like around the drum set so you can apply them. Be creative. Don't keep your hands tied with one another following on the same toms because then you're going to be falling in the same old trap and make sure to have fun. Five minutes a day really gets you a long way with drum fills if you apply this system. And don't forget, you, you can use this on any reading exercise, any reading book, any subdivisions, anything you want. So make sure to have fun. Join us for a lesson. I'm, um, I'm a teacher here at Lesson Face. I do teach uh, weekly. So if you want, grab a spot. If not, there's other great teachers on the, the platform as well. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, write a comment. If you have any questions, feel free. It'll be a pleasure to answer you. Thanks for joining us. Have a good week.